Thompson's reflection. Okay. Just then, my name's Glenn Thompson. Okay. Uh, the murder in old library was somewhat horror themed. Somehow it turned into comedy. Horror and comedy should never mix. Yeah. I'm starting to go into the morning thing straight away. That tells you how much <laughs> I enjoy this play. How much? <laughs> but yeah, it was somewhat horror themed. It was like audience interaction. We, yeah, like it says right there, we interact with the audience, like joke about with, um, make them a part of the whole performance. And it was a uh, thing into like a library area was being actually shut down. I think that this was actually a library where we were, wasn't it? Uh, we did a horror thing because it was near Halloween. The only thing scary about that was the performance. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Honestly, uh, sorry, because I'm used to having questions and I, they, these are the answers that don't link them up with questions. Honestly, I did not do much, but I didn't. I did have some Okay. Uh, I did have some problems through the play. My voice was a bit gone. Uh, that is a major thing for me. I do lose my voice quite easily and I do lose my voice when it's near a performance as well. For my GCSE I've been coughing all through it. Yeah. But what can I, I did have a problem with that because some oh, I did have a problem with some of the other perform actors. I already gone through this with my critical comparison, but you're probably going to see this one first and another one. Yeah, okay. I did have some problem with some actors, like I said before. I'm not going to name any names, but yeah, they do. They did kind of bring it down. I cannot. I did at first didn't want to do this. So I wasn't very energetic with it because I'm not the most positive person with stuff. I'm a bit more negative with some other stuff. And pretty much, yeah, when I think it's going to not turn out that good, I'm trying not to swear right now. So, so hang in with me. But yeah, I'm a bit more negative and once I knew if I know that it kind of messes up, I know that it's not going to be that mass that massively good because it's just like a gut feeling for me because we've been rehearsing this performance for quite a while now, about 10, 10 few more days after that, 10 days-ish. Yeah, I'm not good with time, but uh, yeah, we... Uh, we've been rehearsing for all that time and it's still kind of turning out pretty poop. Yes, that's what I've been mad down. <laughs> Probably if I'm mad down, if I banter with that or camera, that's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, and also I didn't really have that much confidence with this one. I'm not, like I keep on saying, I'm more of a lone wolf person. I love to. I'm not that, I'm better with acting in a group, but talking to people in a group, I'm not good because I like to think it's kind of like a two personality thing. I'm different from off stage when I'm on stage because when I'm on stage, I'm more energetic, happy, and easy to interact with. Off stage, I'm more on my own, like thinking all the time. Just like a somewhat of a drama split personality to me. Yes, that's going to be a new thing. I'm going to use that. <laughs> Remember, <that. laughs> not much. Okay, confidence problems. This this is because it was a bit of uh, yeah. The point I did have confidence problem with this because it was a bit of a mess. Like saying, oh, someone died. Suddenly, the uh, table was laughing. Don't know how, but yeah, it was quite a bit of a mess. Uh, my character, while I was playing, was 
Uh, Sebastian Wilton. I've got Sebastian for my pet snake. <laughs> Original naming. But yeah, Wilton. And that first, I did think of him as a snob and unpolite. Uh, his job was a teacher. A, a t his per yeah. His personality was a bit of a teacher's pet, but I thought that it was a bit too like basic, too like I would like to use a bit too dish. Or oh, this is a problem. This is a real life done. I want him to have a bit more actual story behind him, like a normal person. Not saying that I'm actually normal, but <laughs> but yeah, it was a bit basic, unoriginal. Also, my character didn't fit into any scenes. That's the one problem. Straight away from the performances, it's just like at college and schools. What you do, like everyone in the beginning of a new year, they pick the friends straight away. There's always been a few individuals, but one fit in. That's me. But yeah. That's pretty much how I like to think of performances on this one because now it's all random, the ones what I'm doing now, but yeah. They picked all the nearest friends, they make scenes with them and they leave all the people who was kind of doesn't really fit in anymore because they make a whole scene about that. They don't really fit in so they can only like, oh, but yeah, it's kind of messed up with my words, but yeah, pretty much. They make their own scenes and they only reference what you get to you. Not saying, oh, I don't like this person, I don't like this. They're just like saying, oh, there's Sebastian and all that. Just like one little mention and then go back to it. Something like might work. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I like to think of. Saying like they don't really fit into it anymore. It didn't fit into any scenes, yeah, I read that, thank you. Uh, it was hard to make people notice me, yes, I did have a really, I did have quite a bit of a problem with that. Probably because I'm not really the most, uh, I'm not the best at interacting with people. I'm more of a quiet person, not looking at me at the stage, but yeah, in real life I'm quiet-ish. <laughs> but yeah, I did have problems actually making people notice me in her performance because I did want to fit in somehow to that sort of story but it didn't really work uh, and that's mostly because my character is a bit yeah 2D how I like to call it unoriginal blah 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 etc repeat myself yeah uh, it had but I did have to make a backstory for him so I did actually change my character to fit into other scenes. Uh, uh, instead of like, yeah, big shopping, instead of like being a snob, I turned into like a, a body victim. Yeah, I'm, if in doubt, just go to the body, body victim. I'm, in my other performances, I am way too used to that. I really did want to change stuff up, but that's the only way how I could actually fit into the performances. Because there's loads of like people acting hard and all that, but there's no one to actually make them more who uh, made them more like sympathetic for people. Blah blah blah. I need to catch up because I don't keep bookmarks. Basic kind of. Yeah, sorry, I'm reading my work. One sec. Okay. Yeah, was a body victim. Now, a body victim, his job was uh, like a teacher assistant. But yeah, that's kind of how he wanted because he's a teacher assistant, but still a teacher's parent. Yeah, what's the difference? But yeah, the reason why I made him was a teacher's assistant because so I can give him a bit of a neat freak slash OCD. Something what can make him stand out the audience because yeah, once again, I was quite unforgettable. No, I was quite forgettable, not unforgettable. Words, not good. But yeah, I was literally invisible in the whole performance. Yeah, because that's what, how I like to think of it. I don't know if it's just me being low self-esteem or, yeah. It was 
and plus the whole performance was a lot more people than actually expected and less people was could actually see people that was actually a major flaw of the whole thing so many people and not much people actually looking at them because there were so many but yeah I'm going way off topic again Sometimes because I made him once again I'm re reading my words neat for you also I did give him some I did give him a little bit of I made him a little bit bravish I don't know how to actually word it but so I can actually stand up but he will still get beat up but yeah I give him a little bit of bravery so I can actually stand up to the bullies but he will still get beat up because I just said that for the record yep okay the challenges I faced were the challenges I faced on betraying my character uh, I keep on hyperventilating because when the cat when the two people actually dived into yeah I was like getting scared hyperventilating yeah I was breathing quickly and then I was hyperventilating and I was getting dizzy it was more me just overacting and yeah didn't turn out good in the long run because I was really getting dizzy needed to go home for quite a bit of stuff but that was one of the challenges but yeah as I just said that thank you paper for reminding me I'll be the you'll yeah make me lightheaded I also know how to how to betray my character also I didn't know how to actually betray my character yeah, just give me one second, I'm trying to find it. Between my character, because it was not really... I'm used to playing these characters, and I really don't really like playing that type of character. It doesn't feel like me. That's why it's drama, but you have to get used to playing it. But probably because I'm kind of fed up of playing the same character, I'm just having difficulties doing it now, because... Oh, I'm playing the body victim again, okay, yay. But even though it was my own choice, because that's the only reason how I could fit into other performances. For like a quick second or so. But yeah, I did have problems portraying my character because it was so original of me. I wanted to be a little bit more of a main character, but I fell into the back. But yeah, just give me a second again. But I did overcome the path though by actually I know that I lie on my paper sometimes. Everyone does, so it's not just me. But yeah, it's literally just saying but I overcome my character problem. No, I just have to face that I'm doing this character, I cannot deny it. I'm not one of them people who say I don't want to do this, I'm not doing it, so I'm never gonna do it. I'd have thought, if I'm doing this character, I better put 100% in it. So I did do it, by the help of coffee and energy drinks. <laughs> but yeah. But, and that's how I actually helped me portray my character. A little secret, I need to be hyped up on caffeine. Well yeah. Using... No, that is a wrong spelling, I'm not reading that out. Uh, yeah. And you, I did actually use some of my previous experiences in my work because, yeah, going back to my own backstory, I was in like primary school and high school, I was kind of like the odd one out, didn't fit in, kind of bullied. But until like higher years, I got used to it. Uh, no, not used to bullied, but the, I fitted in a little bit better, in other words. I can, yeah. So I did put in the actual previous experiences with me, certainly my characters. That's how I like to actually portray all my characters. Bit for like some big wacky person that I can just play myself. For like someone who's like dark and depressed, upset, to play my past self. Because my past self to my present self right now are totally different. 
So I like to use my actual backgrounds into my character, so that's how I also portray my character. <coughs> yeah, it's been used by using it. I use my emotions to, uh, use my emotions to do my character well, I'm just reading this. I want to stand up to the body so I can actually stand up for myself, but that didn't really work in the whole performance. It, it felt a bit washed actually in the performance. Actually, that's, that's the whole thing. One of the major key problems of the performance was it was all washed. One scene after another, on quick, quick, quick. But yeah. Okay. I got one this one. I didn't want to be like kind of a character where they can actually sympathise for me, a bit upset, but honestly, they just blank faced it, they didn't do much. That's the performance what we did right now is right is a good it's a good example for things what could go wrong. And they did that. Yeah, that's that one done. Yeah, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> but yeah, my intentions was to actually change my character's voice, but like I keep on saying, my voice keep on going. I was ill in that time, so yeah, <clears throat> I was trying to do like a posh voice, but because every single teacher's pet always has to be posh, it's stereotypical. But yeah. But I did lose my voice, that was one of my character problems. I could do the voice, but I did I could, I can do accents, but it totally just gone. But yeah, my voice was more than, more than two. So I couldn't, so I did actually do my normal voice, and honestly I didn't think it went out better than my actual other voice. It didn't let me go higher and lower pitch more than anything else. <coughs> Still ill, but yeah. Uh, oh God. I did forget some word. Yeah, I did forget my accent. I know it's strange, but I did actually forget it. I don't know how, it's just me. It's weird. Like, you've been practicing, in, you're practicing, in, you've been practicing your word, your accent, not your words. <laughs> yeah, you've been practicing your accent over and over again, and then suddenly you're ill for like three days and you just forget it. That's just my life right there. But yeah, that's just. One second, how. There's still a lot more we need to do. It's gonna be the end of the day, at the end of the day. Okay, well, assessment, so I didn't. Yeah, so I didn't do it. I didn't do my voice. I did my normal voice. I didn't like how it turned out. It just, yeah, last minute thing. Because I did kind of feel bad about that. I did want to do my accent, but it went on the day. But yeah. I did use something more. Okay, this is my emotions for the actual play. Sad, depressed. Okay, at the beginning I started a bit happy interacting with people and through the time I get a bit upset because I got bullied and pain. Don't think that was a mo pain is not emotion. Uh, but yeah, scared, crying, etc. But yeah. My timing of this stuff was not the best. Honestly, I don't think it it was. It was not mostly me, but it was mostly the whole thing all together because it was washed. Like one minute I'm happy, next second I'm upset, next minute I'm scared. Yeah, everything was all washed. Okay, I number six. That, that doesn't count for anything. Okay, I didn't do much. Okay, revising. I didn't really revise much because I wanted to be a bit more, more like human. I not I cannot word this better, but I wanted to be a bit more natural to me. So I did use my old what's it called now. 
yeah, my own, my past, yeah. I use my past as my motivation to my character. It made it a bit more human, relatable, yeah. If, to my character, I don't know if I can even. Yeah, I just used, literally right here, my past and all that, yeah. I do think that my process of processes of my character went well because out of all the I sound like a robot when I try to read my own words. Yeah, I do think uh, making my character went a bit okay because out of nearly all the characters, I was more. Once again, I'm using human, I was more lifelike. I'm not too, I was trying to be not too d. I I wanted to have a past, present and like future. But yeah, I, I did want to actually stand out, but it, I did kind of get over, yeah, overshined, overlooked by some other characters. But yeah. Well, yeah, my character's more realistic. It's... But I would give myself one if I stopped reading so fast in my characters. Yeah, that is her experience. Well, I'm gonna learn from that. Okay. Okay, the next question thing, I don't know. At first I was... Okay. The full thing of emotions again. At first, I was uh, cheerful. I was talking to people with a with a small no, I'm not with more like yeah, small talk, saying how's your day, etc. The things I'm not good at, <laughs> small talking to people. But yeah, with small talk, then I got big. Then in the scene what I did, I got somewhat beaten up, so then I felt pain is not emotion. Is it emotion? Kind of. I don't know if they are about emotion stuff. But yeah, I was like sad, up, scared, in pain, still don't think I have emotion, I need to look that up later. But yeah. But then I was like terrified when someone died. Suspicious to other people, but then another person died, and I thought, oh, yeah, this performance is going down. <laughs> but yeah, I just keep on thinking that uh, suspicious, someone's dead, someone's dead, etc. Uh, I think I did emotions quite well. I'm not that really well on emotions, I'm not good at recognizing stuff. Uh, because I do have an illness what doesn't help me recognise emotions that well. But I can betray them, but I cannot recognise them. Yay to me. <laughs> Yay. But yeah. Uh, for me and to me talk. Oh yeah, talking to the audience is not easy for me. I'm not really that vocal to people. I have difficulties talking to people. Uh, yeah, very antisocial. Definitely not stay in my bed and play video games and etc. <laughs> Yay, <Yeah>, modern day. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm just checking for something. Okay. Okay, okay, the only reason my character I wanted to portray to the audience was more sympathetic. So uh, the audience can feel sorry for me, and I think that kind of went well. I don't know because I don't really talk to the random people after performances, saying, "Oh, sorry about this, that, etc." Why am I saying sorry so much? I don't know. Must be something. Must be something deep down in me who wants to say sorry about that performance. <laughs> but yeah, to the audience, I don't. Because I know that some of the performers talk to the audience members after the performance, but I don't. I like to keep my characters on stage and myself off stage. It's like saying, oh, I think that went well. 
as. Okay, I'm a bit weird on this. On stage, I want to be that character. Off stage, I'm like more of the audience member saying, oh, this went well, that went well. Not to my own horn, but that went well. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I want to, when I'm off stage, I want to be an audience member, in other words. Touching my, like, oh, I was watching it up well. Yeah, I got. Once again with the audience, yeah, I can't really. It was a bit awkward, yeah. The papers reminded me how awkward that was. Thank you for bringing back the past. Okay, I think that. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. The I think I did kind of succeed on keeping my character talking to people at the time. I know that gradually your energy gets less and less and it gets a bit more silent and awkward. I think I did do good at the beginning. I think I did terrible at the end because I was mostly upset and all that as the character, not the not real life. So yeah, I did think it kind of went less energy. I could have, I could have made a bit more of an effort to actually talk to people, but I thought that would want to be my character if I'm having a somewhat panic attack. And then talk to someone and say, oh, he's dead, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I, so mostly, I wanted to act alone and I didn't want to... Yeah, I did kind of bring my character down by not talking to people whilst I'm scared. So they've just been watching me awkwardly saying, oh, is it okay? Yeah, but I did think I did good at the beginning, energy went down at the end. I would work with audiences again, but I'm. Um, hold on. Oh, I would put. Not audience. I would work with a different. Okay. I would work with a different group. Uh, at this time, I want, when I was writing this paper, I wasn't the most happiest person about the performance. I was out on a rampage because this paper. So, yeah, but it seems a bit negative. It's not my personal views right now, but yeah, it was on the paper. Right now, I thought, now I think that working as a group, it was awkward at first. Now because we know each other, we know the limits, we know we have a job about we can get serious now because at first the, op the group I was in was too chatty, didn't do much effort but now in the present day, whether you're watching this uh, or past, <laughs> maybe future, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, it was a bit of a mess, <laughs> oh right now, or did I say? I don't, past was a mess, present ish right now. Uh, we are much better, we have improved a lot. Uh, that's, so, right here, I kind of disagree with myself because at this time I was on a rampage to get my voice out. Might not be the most positive voice, but yeah, I'm brutally serious, sometimes depressive. That's literally me. But yeah. But I do need some more confidence on my character. That was one of the most... That was more about me. Because once I get in my head, oh, this is not going to be that well done. Then suddenly, oh, yeah, it's just going to be mm -hmm. all down, low pitch. Lack of energy, not much confidence for the whole thing. But I do need to talk to more audience members. In, in the next performance, because now we're doing pantomime, I can actually have a joke with the audience instead of like doing small talk to the audience. And yeah, yep. I think that's pretty much it. Right. Well, 